and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Guide. And today, I'm going to be going over two things specifically here that could potentially be coming to Madden within the next day or so and the other one within the next week or so now we're gonna focus on the one that could be within the next week well the one that could come in the next few days is pretty pretty cool one of the best things from last year probably overall that drop but we are not it's not confirmed yet so we got to go over what it come what it what it means what it could involve and kind of how it work so first thing guys that we're gonna be going over is the possibility of a blitz during the Christmas promo and the Ghost of Madden Forever. Those are the two things that came out around this exact time last year that were really cool and kind of made a lot of what was fun about Christmas promo fun. So we're kind of hoping we receive it again. Now guys, first off, it's Christmas Eve. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. And if you guys are, I'm glad you guys came out to come watch my video in the midst of your busy Christmas Eve. It is the morning, so you guys probably have a little bit of free time to do this. But it is the 25 Days of Poodmas, guys. As you guys know, all you gotta do to enter the giveaways are subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your console and the secret word here throughout the video once you do all those things you're entered to win let's get into the bulk of this video so first off it's gonna be the blitz so there's, there's potentially going to be a christmas blitz now we don't know if this is certain yet but i want to give you guys all the ideas to prep so here's the thing obviously what i say right now you don't have to go out and do but here's the thing so if there happens to be a blitz at least you guys are ready right i'm gonna give i'm gonna inform you guys about a potential blitz and how this might run because as you guys know if there is a blitz and you guys have no idea that it's even coming you're not gonna know what to do quickly how to repair what to even do you're probably gonna be so overwhelmed confused and miss out on some great offers as well as if you guys have the right opportunity to at least prep a little bit it won't it'll be like a, a risk-free situation so first things first guys if there is a blitz and by the way what a blitz is it's a quick hitter little baby i'll call let's call it a baby promo it's quick little no bad word it's a quick hitter set of offers on the store house for solar challenges whatever and it's going to be very quick things that get you a lot of coins they're fun they're the things to buy on the store sometimes with money sometimes with currency sometimes with training it all really depends on how madden's feeling at that how EA's feeling at that time of day now last year we had a blitz i don't remember how long it ran i can't I'm gonna be honest with you i don't remember how long it ran but that but that blitz was super cool the christmas blitz was one of the best blitzes that we had all year now one thing that could they could incorporate that they didn't actually do yet this year last year they did solo blitz uh solo battle blitzes which are really cool the way it ran was pretty much that the blitz the blitz rewards were daily so you'd hop onto solo battles you played four games if you won all four games you get like a hundred like 100k per day you get you get you get the max week rewards in one day so pretty much you tell you could do it like in six days straight so you could easily make 600k plus plus trophies it was a great great thing that yay introduced to say uh man I, I would hope that we'd see it but i don't think we will because we did get double soul battle weekly league rewards last week so i don't know if we'll end up seeing that but i'm still just getting it out there to you and next thing guys is for a blitz right a blitz as far for the for the christmas promo would probably include i believe kindling training and madden currency so Something that I mentioned in quite a few videos going over kindling stuff is that kindling is super cheap right now. So I, th I think it's kind of risk free. Like if you want to potentially prepare for kindling, because here's the thing, right? If a blitz comes out and you don't have and you don't have a card for kindling, you're gonna you're gonna be out of luck. Because here, so let's say Van Der Esch goes for 240, right? That's not really his price. But let's say he does. Van Der Esch goes for 240, and they come out with a kindling pack, right? Where you get a platinum card for a platinum pack for a thousand kindling. So you could potentially buy about seven of them with him. So you sit there like, okay, that's a pretty good deal. In case you, if you get anything good, you pretty much make your money back. Let's just say. Now, because you didn't have them already, everyone runs to the auction block to go buy Ghost of Madden players or any Zero Chill players so that they can go get enough kindling. The market's gonna skyrocket up. These cards will probably go to like 380 now. It's not so, it's not worth it anymore. Now it's like seven platinum packs for 380K, 400K. Now if I get anything, not, if I don't even get good stuff, now I'm losing a ton of coins. Now it's not worth it. And that has been the case of Blitzes every time. People think that you can get your stuff after when the blitz is happening. You can't. You, you, you really can't. If they, if they make an offer for kindling, by the time you get to the market, you're out of luck. Unless you're like the first one, which is highly unlikely. But the point is, for the mark, for it to be worthwhile and have and fun, you're going to already need to have it. So, the thing with kindling right now is it is super cheap. And the thing is, is that I believe 94s are worth a little bit more than they're going for. I don't think you can really lose here. So, the thing is, for me, I have a, I have a price point. I'll go to some Madden present. If you can get these guys from below 220, I'd recommend just picking up one. I currently have one held. I have Patrick Mahomes held in my binder in case of the in case of any emergency blitz that I need to have kindling for. I am just sitting there. Now, you can if you get one of them for about like 220 or less, I'd recommend you buy because that worst case scenario you sell them back for 240 something and you gain coins. I mean, and you break even. Or he goes up and you sell them for 380 and you make a lot of coins like 100 plus K. Or 
you end up on to get the offers and you just quick sell them and you make the offers and you make money in your offer it all depends now they do it with training there's really no way to prepare for that i mean training is the easiest thing to have you can just quick sell cards you have kindling is a harder one because right now kindling has no use so here's the thing this is why you can make so much coins sometimes with uh currencies kindling has no use so kindling mark markets at an all-time low i just smashed my light kindling markets at an all-time low and because there's nothing there there's no value for kindling right now now if they introduce anything good with kindling it'll go from here all the way up to here because people have no hope on like no hope of kindling right now so it's such it's a great opportunity to like buy low it's like a really good investment if but i'm not but guys listen to me careful i'm not saying go buy 20 of these i'm saying if you find the right price buy one that's all you need one seven thousand kindling is more than enough just hold on to it and ends up being no blitz you can just sell them back maybe you lose 10k at most right let's say they go down to like 230 or you have to sell you have to sell it for 240 or you sell it for 230 and you end up losing like 5k 10k it's worth in the event that you could have potentially it's like so risk-free you could only lose that much when you could have potentially made 100k that's just my personal opinion now as far as the blitz goes like i said they could introduce solos they could introduce limited time blitz house rules they could introduce cool store offers like platinum packs and tenio packs a bunch of cool stuff but last year it pretty much was just snow snowflakes and training and real money now there will be a money aspect to it if there is a potential blitz there'll be a money aspect to it which is whatever there's always gonna be a money aspect to it i usually just skip those offers unless there's a fire fantasy pack they did release a fire fantasy pack i'm pretty sure last year around this time for like 25 bucks which was pretty cool i don't know if i'd recommend opening that because right now there's so many high valued cards that don't go for a lot of money right now like 94 overalls are so cheap there's a lot of cards you can get that could really just kill that pack so it's really up to you but for the most part a fire fans pack probably the only thing. The word is grinch comment down below the word grinch like the video subscribe to the channel and comment your comments once you do all this thing you're just to win good luck thing i would spend my money on other than that i probably would recommend like you just only do the training or the kindling offers and now another thing i want to get over is the ghost of madden forever card so last year i believe it was on christmas eve which is today and they released a ghost of madden forever promo that no one saw coming pretty much you go over to solos and there was these three things there was ghost of madden forever so there's ghost of madden future ghost of madden past ghost of madden present ghost of madden forever are like forever legends like guys that will be implanted with the name of madden forever it's like glitchy cards like michael vick was one of them so michael vick's a ghost of madden forever like no one will ever forget michael vick from 2005 madden like how glitchy he was how fast he was like the things he could do no one will forget so there's a ghost of madden forever those type of cards there was tony gonzalez champ bailey and uh, michael vick came out and those are those cool ghost looking cards i actually head over to mudhead real quick to show them to you you guys can see this is the michael vick i was talking about so this was the 80 day release last year it was a solo challenge you just played it real quick you got it you can get all three of them if you wanted to now to upgrade them it did cost snowflakes so this year time it probably cost kindling but what was cool about these cards was that it gave us a throwback to those remember if you guys ever played madden beyond this year like way before they used to always have those pixelated ghost cards like ghost of madden michael strand he was like a cartoony pixelated card that looked like an old school madden card now, let me show you guys what it looks like right here. So, pretty much you can upgrade it with snowflakes. You would toss it and toss it all the way. And when you get to the top and you have full 9,000, you had it all in, you would look like that. So, that's Madden 2004. That's what he looked like, like, in-game back then. He's a very pixelated card. So, that, that was always the beauty of these cards. They're super cool looking. They're unique. And look at these stats. 92 speed. You know, crazy. I'm not going to go over the stats. These are old stats. But still crazy stats on a Michael Vick card. And it was super cool. Everyone got them. There was even a glitch around it. There was Tony Gonzalez also and Champ Bailey. Now, if we got those cards, I don't think so because Champ Bailey champ bailey is potentially possible vick's possible but tony is also just got one so i know they won't be doing him who knows if they'll do this again but i think they will because ghost of Madden forever seems like i think we should definitely keep as a tradition going because that was super cool and it gives us a lot of cool cards and you update and you get to use the kindling for it. you get to use the currency which could help the currency market a little bit so i think that'd be really cool if they introduced that back again so like i said you played the solo you got them you just have to upgrade them. you upgraded them like a, a power up card just like that a power card and then once you upgraded them all the way you could then toss them into the power up train so like let's say michael vick went up to a 93 overall um mutt 10 then once you get this card you could toss them in and then you could power them all up together but you had to power this one up all the way first and you could toss them into the power up set for michael vick it was super cool guys i'm telling you if they if they released this i don't know who would be they probably would have a vick maybe a champ but i don't think there'd be a tony gonzalez because we just got him i don't know who the third one would be but they got to keep that going that was a really cool tradition they started last year it's like giving us players from like glitchy players from other mans that'd be super cool i mean like a bojack a ghost of mana forever bo jackson that'd be cool from like uh super techno bowl and he could just run around people that'd be a really cool bo jackson and that card art like that's like that's like classical stereotypical madden old madden ghost cards like that's what they always look like they were always super expensive you can never afford them and they were super rare that's what i that's what i remember from like madden 13 and stuff those are super cool so remember potential blitz ghost of mana forever now remember we can't i don't think we'll get this yet because we have not gotten the ghost of mana passed yet 
So we're waiting for Ghost Mountain Pass. Maybe that's what maybe during the 12 days of Christmas that we're releasing new content or something. Because they did announce, I did see some of the news report that they, there's like a 12 days of Christmas, which could be really cool. It should go up all the way to New Year's. So maybe they were releasing new content, stuff like that during that time period, which would be really cool. Now we don't entirely know just yet, guys. There's a lot of speculation here, but from years past, we have gotten a blitz. We have gotten Ghost Matter forever. And the Christmas promo started later, so remember that too. Although people are like, oh, but we got it on Christmas Eve last year. Yeah, but the Christmas promo last year started on the 6th. So if we got it today, right? That means that it'd be 18 days later from the Christmas promo starting that we got this Michael Vick. So in 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 like ratio, we got this promo on like the 17th. So it, we would still have like 11 more days to get this card. So I'd, I'd imagine it might be after Christmas. I think everything's coming after Christmas. Everything appears to be on track to be after Christmas because we don't even have passed yet. Ghost of Mountain Passing came out and Christmas is tomorrow. Today's Christmas Eve. So they're definitely behind, but I think they, I don't know if they intentionally did it this way. I really couldn't tell you the, why they purposely did it this way in general. But I'm not going to question it much more. I'm just excited. I hope we do get a Ghost of Madden, uh, a Ghost of Madden forever. And they did hint at a map that had like weather on it and right over... Right over like Virginia Tech where Michael Vick played and everything, it had his number, it had number seven, and it said like number seven degrees, so, or seven degrees was it. So, they could be hinting at a Vick, which means that if they're hinting at a Vick, maybe they're hinting at Ghost of Madden forever again, which would be super cool, and he would definitely contest Lamar Jackson for one of the better quarterbacks in Madden. Well, mobile quarterbacks there. But guys, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of Christmas Eve. I hope you guys have a great day. I know I'll be doing my own thing, so enjoy your day with your family. Enjoy everything you guys are doing. Thank you for coming out to the video. I will have one more video for you guys later. Probably a budget video because I haven't made one of those in quite a while. Hopefully you guys do enjoy that. I just dropped the video as recording this. I think a video just came out, so make sure you check that out. Hopefully it's all good, and hopefully we get some good content on Christmas Day because I will be recording for Christmas Day. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Make sure to enter the 25 Days of Poopness. All you got to do is enter is like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word, and your console. Which is all those things you're entered to win. Good luck. Peace.